Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to my movie room. I thought I'd uh, come to you from a different location today, uh, switch it up a bit. If you remember in my last video I said I was going to watch a couple of films and then give you my thoughts on them. Well I decided to do just that. Um, the film I watched was Descent 2. Uh, not a bad film but certainly not as good as the original. Um, let me take the time to stop right here and say that this review will um, have a few spoilers in it so if you haven't seen the film you might want to uh, turn the video off um, alright the first film being done in 2005 group of six girls um, they go you know cave exploring you know on a holiday um, there's a rock fall traps the girls in there and they need to find their way out and there's these creatures down there and they start picking them off one by one all right, this movie picks up um, right on the same day. Um, the same character, Sarah, played by the same actress, Shauna McDonald. Um, she, she gets out of the cave system. She gets to help. Um, she's tra traumatized. She doesn't remember much. So now there's a search party going on looking for the six girls, one of them being Juno. Uh, a government official's daughter, so that prompts the the search party. Um, this girl's identified as one of the survivors, so the sheriff decides uh, to go in with a group of just three of the searchers, quite secretly, and try to find the other girls. I don't know for, for personal glory or whatever. Um, so they descend down this mine shaft and. Um, there's a rock fall again, and there, groups of them get split up, and then they start to encounter the creatures. Well, slowly, um, Sarah starts to, you know, put put the pieces together and, and remember. She freaks out, knocks out the cop, and takes off. So these people start getting picked off one by one. Um, and you know it's pretty much the same uh, formula as the first film. Now, I did have a, a problem with Sarah. Granted, she did for she did she wasn't clear on what was going on, but she had no apprehension whatsoever. She had just you know been through a traumatic situation, and then she was pulled out of the hospital to you know seemingly go right back down into the mine she came from, and, and no objection. You never hear her hear her utter any objection, uh, which was just odd, you know, I mean, yeah, if I would have forgot something, I, I, I certainly would have questioned why I had to go back down there. Um, yeah, they were telling her that they need their help in finding the friends, but if she forgot everything, what, what help could she really be? Anyways, the film progresses. Um, and then there's a surprise later on during an attack scene on, on the sheriff. Um, somebody comes up behind the creature and kills the creature, and then we come to find out it's Juno. She's still alive from the first film. I thought this odd because we clearly thought she was dead in the first film, but obviously not. Same actress. Um, I thought it was interesting. You know, she... Um, you know, she ended up coming to Sarah's rescue when Sarah injured her and, you know, had left her for dead because she had found out that she had had an affair with her husband. But it was a, it was a good twist, you know, and, and there were a few situations where Juno could have left Sarah for dead, but, you know, their friendship prevailed and, you know, they got real close to, the, um, to getting out of the cave system and... You know, Juno, in the end, sacrificed herself in hopes of Sarah getting away, and you know, um, and apologized with her last breath. Yeah, a little corny, but you know, still a good film. But that leaves her and the, and the female deputy. Well, these things are closing in on them, and Sarah just feeling she probably has nothing to live for because if you remember in the first film she had just lost her daughter and that's why they were on the holiday in the first place um, she sacrifices herself so the female sheriff can get away to get back to her daughter um, 
she runs out, she emerges, she starts running through the woods, um, and then she stops to get on her cell phone, and then out of nowhere this farmer just hits her upside the head with a shovel, and I thought, you know, that's pretty fucked up, but we didn't know, I didn't know what this was, so he starts dragging her, and he takes her right back to the hole, so obviously he's been feeding these creatures the whole time, you know, providing food for them, on, you know, on the surface, and, and that's how the film ends. Um, it, it was enjoyable, but it's, like I said, it wasn't as good as the first one. It's billed as being, um, let's see what the box says here, darker, bloodier, and even more claustrophobic. Okay, I'll give it bloodier. There was just blood everywhere, and mind you, it wasn't even the right consistency. I mean, come on, by now, horror fanatics are going to be able to um, tell real-looking blood from what looked like watered-down ketchup. I'm, it, it wasn't believable blood, but more claustrophobic, no, I'd have to disagree. The first one really had me trying to catch my breath, as, literally, as I was watching the film. This one just, you know, it just seemed like the same recipe, the same, you know, formula as the first film. Um, and I, I really didn't care much for the characters. Um, Sarah for a bit, but then she was kind of cold, so it was easy for me to, you know, detach myself from her. Um, the cop, the, the female deputy, she's the only one I remotely had any, you know, feelings for, uh, you know, and rooting for her to escape. Um, so all in all, it was entertaining for what it was, and out of ten, I'd probably give it a five, a strong five. Um, Certainly a couple of good jumps, but nothing, nothing, uh, you know, mind blowing. So, you know, check it out. Make up your own mind. Yeah, if you can pick it up cheap, pick it up. Um, still, it, it was entertaining. Well, that's about all I'm going to say about it. Um, comment if you've seen it. Let me know what you thought. Um, subscribe. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Subscribe. Um, a video response. Uh, or, or let me know if there's any other films that are similar to this that, that may, have be, may be of interest to me. Um, I'm always on the lookout for um, new horror films, really obscure ones. Uh, I'm going to be placing an order here in a couple days for about you know, uh, 10 titles that I've, I've seen people on YouTube uh, talk about quite frequently. And they're just films I've you know, overlooked and, and not even, you know, never picked up. I had in my hand at one time, you know, and these are films like from the 80s, but I never really stopped to um, put the money down for, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'll reply to all, um, and that's all I have. So until next time, take it easy.